Let's do it. Let's show them how we roll. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, guys, the retirements of Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, and Tony Parker mean the start of a new era for the Spurs. Guard Patty Mills said, we've had great teachers, and now there's a transition. It's about teaching that culture to these new guys. We aren't going to change. Bridging the gap is going to take time. That's where leadership comes in. Kevin? A proud franchise. Thank you, David. Short a rotation player. Nothing that uh, they can't overcome, but it does shrink their margin for error just a bit. They're missing a quality player. Injuries, a big part of the game. They've just got to make the adjustments. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. The high-powered backcourt pair, Lillard and McCollum. Whiteside is out there with Anthony, and it's Ariza in at the three spot. And for the Spurs, Gang and Aldridge are up front. Mills out there with White, and it's DeRozan in at the three. Where you start in the standings could be very different, Clark, from where you finish. As a team, what do you do to continue to improve as the season goes on? Here we go. I think it's a combination of um, little things and guys getting more familiar and more accepting of their roles. But I think it's always attention to detail, Kevin. That's really where teams make the most improvement, not forgetting the little things on a daily basis, the habits that produce winning over time. And that one's good, Lillard. Boy, you have to respect the quickness of Lillard now because he's excellent at using his hands to complement those quick feet to come up with steals. And Damian Lillard with the jam. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Here's Aldridge. Kicks it out to Gay. Aldridge tried to break free, and it's off from three-point range. And here's Portland. Four-point game. They're getting their first look at the season at San Antonio in this one. And going back to last year, this series was an even split. Yeah, guys, they feel like they're the better team. The standings would agree with that. Um, I look for them to assert that with their play tonight. Now, here's Aldridge. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Washington. Yeah, but I thought the shot blocking was the real story. I mean, he was just everywhere. It got hard to keep track of all his rejections. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Here's Mills, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Whiteside. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Dallas. And he was terrific in that game defensively as well, blocking four shots on the night. And Hassan Whiteside in this deep. Forget about it, Kevin. I mean, he's great at getting inside and finishing with force. Here's Mills. Portland making their last shot. And not sure what he was thinking there. Hey, yo, get on Ariza with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. And it's sent back by Aldridge. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Gay's got the ball. That one goes. Count it. Mills has got his second bucket of the game to go. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Now, here's Whiteside. 
Out to Anthony. Over Gay. Anthony's shot is off. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. DeRozan against Ariza. Left side, DeRozan. They grab their own miss. Boy, Aldridge using those long arms of his to corral that offensive rebound. The Trailblazers have gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Lillard, the pass to Whiteside. Back to Lillard. McCollum trying to get open. And there's Lillard. That's good. On the assist by Whiteside. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now, here's Mills. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Washington. Five to shoot. Outside, White. Fires the three. Portland grabs the miss. Now McCollum. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. And his scoring's going to get most of the attention, but his rebounding also stood out. He did a lot of glass cleaning in that game. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Anthony against White. Anthony dishes to Lillard. Pass to a reason. He feeds it to Whiteside. And it's sent back by Aldridge. You know, over time, Aldridge has really developed into a pretty good shot blocker. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. McCollum against White, shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It goes on C.J. McCollum. Will Clark, underrated athleticism for Derek White. For a 6'4 guard, he can finish above the rim. And not only that, guys, but he also blocks shots. I mean, coming out of college, he and number one pick Markel Folks, the only players in the Pac-12 that rank top 10 in scoring, assist, and blocks. That's a um, heck of a triple. And both free throws, good for White. And the Spurs acquiring all-star DeMar DeRozan and Jakob Porto in exchange for Kawhi Leonard with one full season in the bag. How do you view that trade? Well, I tell you what, I think it's going to work well both ways. Obviously, for Toronto, it was fantastic, but I like Porto. This guy has tremendous attributes and ability as a big guy. Um, the Spurs, with no interest in a long rebuild, um, they'd rather retool on the fly, and I think they put themselves in position to, to be pretty good going forward. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Trailblazers. They've pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. First one falls for him. And it had been talked about for some time, but last summer the Heat finally decided to pull the trigger on Hassan Whiteside, traded to Portland for Leonard and, and Harkless. Whiteside and the Heat had soured on each other in the trade, a chance for both sides to have a fresh start. And both free throws good from Whiteside. And looking at the numbers for Whiteside the last few years, Greg, it seems like his production has come back down a bit. And for a minute, Whiteside looked like he could be a dominant center, but he struggled since his great 2017 season. Shot selection has been hurting, and, and sometimes it feels like he is in his own way as a player. Way to work the glass, buffet style. Second chance buckets. They can make a big difference. Ariza goes in, and it's sent back by Aldridge. Mills with it. Pass to Gay. Over McCollum. Gay, that's good. This has been Gay's go-to shot throughout his career. I mean, the mid-range he's got, wet. Passes to McCollum. Mills with the steal.
Foul's contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. The 55th pick back in 2009. Those picks don't hit very often, but Greg Patty Mills now with a decade in the NBA. Six foot nothing. And that may be generous. The Australian Mills, a dangerous pull-up shooter, and he does not back down. Jakob Pertles check in for the Spurs. Bryn Forbes comes in for White. Mark, we're seeing more and more young coaches in the NBA. You think this is a trend? Is it completely circumstantial? What's your view on that? Well, I think you've got more younger coaches that are capable and able to coach. And the league is quite young, too. I think it's a, a current trend. But we've seen that before in decades past when it seems the wave of coaches are, are younger. I think it's more or less kind of the cycle of life that we see across um, a lot of different industries. The Trailblazers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. Two, two. They throw good McCollum. And you talk about shot makers. C.J. McCollum, one of the best in the game. From mid-range, you could argue he's the best, flat out. Walker's checked in for the Spurs. And then for the Trailblazers, Little. He's checked in for Whiteside. Rodney Hood subbed in for Trevor Ariza. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And you look at the shot chart for McCollum. He's a threat grade from everywhere. Able to hit off the bounce, pulling up. At his height, he's got to be creative, making space for his shot. Here is Forbes. Six on the shot clock. Fires from deep. The shot, no good. And it's Portland the other way. And it's McCollum in the corner. And McCollum with the slam. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Yes, they're not backing off at all, are they? And it's DeRozan missing. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. Well, the size mismatch is no problem for this fella, guys. I mean, how much do you like seeing that aggressiveness from him? Here's Walker after Nasir Little's bucket. Left side, DeRozan. Fires from the wing. And that's good off the glass that time. Guys, you remember when DeMar DeRozan first came into the league? He was just really a raw athlete. Now he's a finely tuned offensive juggernaut. Now here's McCollum. Lillard outside. Portland needs to get off a shot. McCollum, no good. Yeah, but the defenders draped all over him. He just could not shake loose. Pirtle, high post. Working on Norkic. Outside Aldridge. Spurs working the ball around now. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. That's a two-pointer from Walker, but they'll get another chance. DeRozan. Give me that! Little with the rebound. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Lillard from outside knocks down the three ball. Lillard's got nine. Uh, that's one of the reasons Lillard is out there. He gives you that deep threat. Here's DeRozan. Goes back up. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. And the minutes down, Clark slightly for Pirtle last season, but his role grew down the stretch. And not only his role grew, but I think his production improved as well. He got better as a passer. His rebounding took a jump forward. 
the counting stats won't wow you, but he's making progress and impacting his team in a positive way. That free throw missing. Or well, the shot repertoire of Jakob Pertl. Mostly 10 feet and in is his strength. He's an old school big man in every sense of the word, but efficient in what he does. And the Spurs making a change here. Lyles checked in. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Trent checked in. That's off as well, so he misses both. And Clark at seven feet tall. Pirtle a live body in there. He's live, and he's also no stiff, guys. Pirtle can catch and finish. He's active in defending. Um, gets off the ground quickly and easily. Um, I like his package as a big guy. And the Spurs with possession here. The Blazers getting the bucket. And here's Walker. No points in the game yet for him. The shot. DeRozan gets the bucket. You know what? Struggling a little bit, but I do command the effort. Two of eight from the field. Let's see if that one gets him going. Now here's Lillard. Tight defense on him. Inside. Nurkic the pass to Trent. Shoots over Walker. Here's Nurkic. And Pirtle sends it back. Wonderful anticipation that time from Pirtle. Positioning himself perfectly to send that one back. Shots good by Lyles. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here's Lillard. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. The pass to Nurkic. Shoots over Pirtle. And Nurkic with the basket on the assist by Lillard. Lillard's got three assists tonight. Spurs trail by eight. Here is Forbes. On the wing, DeRozan. Covered by Hood. Great D that time from Nurkic. Here's Lillard. Buries it down low. Lillard's got 11. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Now, here's DeRozan. He's coming off a 28-point game against Washington. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just a dominant performance on the glass. Hey, if you're going to foul Pirtle, I mean, get your money's worth. You have to make sure you really whack him. Uh, he's extremely good at finishing through contact. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. And, and not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. And guys, that was an element of his game that he could not get turned around. I mean, he was really in a funk, and it lasted all season. Whiteside's checked in for the Trailblazers. The free throw drops for Pirtle. Boy, Pirtle is a massive guy. Somebody that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks. Lillard up top, covered by Lyles. Trent passes to Little. 14 feet away, and he overshot that one, missing. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Tell you what, I don't know of anybody more aggressive at attacking the basket than DeRozan. A lot of his points come off the drive. Lillard way outside. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for the Portland Trailblazers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Great team play, so key to winning. Damian Lillard broke down the keys. 
be a star in your role. You know, I think it's one thing to say, let's be consistent, let's play hard, let's do all of these things. And I think as competitors, as professional athletes, we're going to play hard. You're going to be competitive because we're competitors. We don't make it to this level for no reason. Um, but I think at this level, you also have egos. Knowing your role and playing it so well is so crucial. Yeah, when everybody buys in and plays for one another, that's when teams play their best ball. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Guys, what stands out from the Blazers so far? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. On the court for the Trailblazers, they've got Whiteside, Little out there with Rodney Hood. Then it's Damian Lillard, and it's Trent in at the two-guard spot. Free throw, good, Whiteside. Clark, you played the traditional power forward position in the NBA years you had back in the 80s at such a high level. Who's doing that right now? Tell you what, the power forward position has changed so much, Kevin. These four men now are not really the enforcing type physical guys that we saw in the 80s and even 90s. They're agile, they're rim protectors, they're shot makers from deep. And guys like Anthony Davis and LaMarcus Aldridge. Yes. Man, I tell you, Anthony Davis goes to the top of my list um, in today's game. Blake Griffin, another one with Detroit. Yeah. Good call. The Spurs shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Free throws good, Lyles. Rudy Gaze checked in for the Spurs. So he gets them both. Trailblazers leading by five. Lillard, the pass to Whiteside. From deep three-point range, Lillard misses. You know, he hasn't made any threes this quarter after sinking just the one in the first. The shot's good from Forbes. Forbes has got his first basket. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Now here's Lillard, drilled from 11 feet out. Lillard's got 13 points. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, tampering is a touchy subject, but it's a word we're hearing more often. Teams want to retain their star players, but they know that there's always talk during a season. Now, teams can only express interest in a player when he hits free agency. But players can talk amongst each other freely all season. Star players like LeBron James are tied into their front offices. And some people wonder if there's much of a difference between what the player says and what his team is thinking. Kevin? Good point, David. Thank you. The Trailblazers have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. And the first one drops. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Here's what San Antonio is going with right now. Derek White's checked in for Lonnie Walker. And it's Mills in for Bryn Forbes. 
Carmelo Anthony's checked in for Portland. Ariza comes in for Rodney Hood. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Pass to Zeller. Miles inside, covered by Lillard. Miles no good. Here's Whiteside. Second shot opportunity, and it's Anthony getting it to go. And the Trailblazers lead by nine. And love the muscle Anthony brings to the three spot. Takes pride in outworking everyone when he's that deep inside. Mills. Count that one. Mills has got nine. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Lillard misses. The Spurs have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Now here's Mills. He's got nine. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Anthony. Nine points last game. Here's Whiteside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. You know, guys, you've got to give much respect to the length of Whiteside. I mean, he's a hawking seven-footer who takes a lot of pride in being the defensive anchor for this team. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. Two shots. First free throw is good. Clark, you were such a terrific athlete growing up, and it must be fun for you watching your kids and soon your grandkids go through their athletic journeys. It really is one of the great blessings and treats of my life to see our kids grow and develop as people, but also to enjoy different sports. Our boys played basketball and soccer, and our daughter played volleyball, all played in college at some level. And so it is great. Anytime you see your kids find their lane, enjoy running in it, and do well in that lane, it's um, joy indescribable. Now here's Ariza. He has five. Anthony's shot is off. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. That one's in there, and the Portland lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Gay. Boy, I love seeing Gay go right up with the shot off the pass. No wasted motion. And here's Ariza following the three from Rudy Gay. Here's Trent, white covering. Six to shoot. Three-pointer Lillard slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, I mean, they had their chances, competed deep into that game, but had a few lulls there that just kind of took them down. And, you know, those are the kind of games that sting and that bad taste lingers. Knowing you were in it, but not coming through down the stretch, those are hard to get over sometimes. The Trailblazers making a switch here. McCollum's checked in, and it's White missing. Trailblazers leading by six. Pass to Whiteside, and it's slammed in by Whiteside. Carmelo Anthony showing you his passing skill there. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Gay outside from deep. San Antonio again missing. The Trailblazers have gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Ariza outside. And it's easy to see why a team would want Ariza on their roster. Makes the right decisions, mentors young players, and is well-respected throughout the league. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Two shots. Relax on the first.
and he makes the first. You know, Ariza offers his team invaluable experience. He's a natural leader who his teammates look up to. LaMarcus Aldridge has checked in for Lyles. Both free throws good from Trevor Ariza. Clark, last season we saw more of the Global Game Series from the NBA. A couple games in Mexico, one in England. It's nice to see. Yeah, it really is because I actually six years ago had a chance to be with the Pacers in the Global Games in ah. um, the Philippines and then um, Taipei, Taiwan with the Rockets. Great experience for the players and the organizations. Um, it's an additional level of travel, no doubt. About a week to 10 days where you're in another country. But it's great for the game, and it's great for the fans in those countries. Here's Zeller following the basket by C.J. McCollum. Feeds it to Aldridge. That one's off, still out of sync. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketballs. Had a little sandpaper element time to out, it. Out. Gritty and, and rough, but that's Start. how you win games. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Yeah, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Nurkic has checked in. And here's a look at some stats for Trevor Ariza, how he performed last season. He averaged about 12 points per game last year, five rebounds and three assists. The contributions he's been making on the floor have been a boon for this team. Great stretch of games for him. Yeah, you know, they've given him more responsibility, and he's responded. And the way he's going, I think his role is only going to increase. Here's Trent, white covering. McCollum outside. And a look now at the San Antonio Spurs upcoming schedule. On Thursday, they'll be playing against Lou Williams and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Friday, they'll take on Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And, Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. He throw good, McCollum. McCollum's carved out an impressive NBA career for himself, and I think he's still ascending. He was the 10th pick in the 2013 NBA draft. He's still got plenty of upside. Jakob Pertl's check in for Tyler Zeller. And so McCollum nails both of them. Spurs trail by 14. Now Mills. 11 points in the game. Passes it to Gay. Back to Mills. And the pass to Aldridge. Ariza with the rebound. Ariza's got four rebounds now tonight. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. And there it is for him. That's 12 points for C.J. McCollum. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now here is Pirtle. And it's Aldridge missing. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. McCollum kicks to Anthony. To the inside and finished off by Nurkic. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Clock at six. Here's Aldridge banked in off the glass. Aldridge has got his third bucket of the night. Uh, you know, sometimes overwhelming presence. Aldridge is a handful to deal with because of his height, strength, and length. Now here's Ariza. Nine-point game is last outing. 
Here's McCollum. Mills with the rebound. And it's Mills with the ball for the Spurs. They trail by 16. Outside Aldridge. Shoots it. They get it back. Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. And Pirtle has stick to itiveness on the offensive glass. He just throws himself in the mix to come up with those boards. Here's Trent. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. San Antonio's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Mills with it. Anthony on him. Mills can't hit. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances timeout, throughout, timeout. and... They've really been strong on the glass. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And last season, a rare five-by-five five game achieved by Yusuf Nurkic. 24 points, 23 rebounds, seven assists, five steals, Greg, and five blocks in a game against the Kings. And how about the only player ever to log a 20, 25, and five game? The Bosnian beast making a name for himself. A different look now for San Antonio. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Gay. Lonnie Walker comes in for White. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Patty Mills. Nurkic with the block. And a wide open look for Hood. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Outside DeRozan. Out to the right wing. Walker with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Over Ariza. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Trailblazers leading by 19. Hood kicks to McCollum. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got his fifth rebound in this one. DeRozan's shot is off. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. I, I think you're right. I mean, an up fake here or there, getting the ball inside, uh, that's how you create high percentage offense. Now, here's DeRozan. Six points for him. Here's Aldridge. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. Aldrich has got four points this quarter. Boy, DeRozan showing you good recognition there. Saw the gap in the defense and fired the pass to the wide open man. Doesn't get much better than that. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Yo, yo, D up on Nurkic. DJ, DJ. And finished off by Nurkic. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. I think one of the best ways, guys, to score in transition is that quick hitter after the first burst. Now here's DeRozan. And there's the big-time jam as he slams it right over Nurkic. Well, guys, we've seen DeRozan. He's got tremendous bounce, and when he's airborne, not only is he up high, he's strong while he's in the air, too. Really special. Hood with it. He's picked up by Walker. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. 14 points for C.J. McCollum. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Outside DeRozan. Little turnaround. Another one falls for San Antonio. 
Boy, you can see the excitement in DeRozan's eyes when he gets these opportunities. I mean, he's a knockdown threat from there. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. The shot's good. 16 points for C.J. McCollum. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Spurs have gone 6 of 8 from the free throw line tonight. And just last season, they were at about 82% from the free throw line. So those numbers are always going to be positive. You know, it's really interesting to note that Forbes went to the same high school in Detroit as a certain friend of ours. I think the guy's name I'm thinking about here is um, Chris Weber. Mar DeRozan on the wing, over Hood, again the miss by the Spurs. And so it's Portland holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Leading the way at the start, it was Damian Lillard. He had 16 points, two rebounds, and two steals. What'd you think about Portland, Kenny? Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into place. Fantastic shot selection. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. Shaq, let's get your thoughts on San Antonio. Well, it's no wonder they're getting blown out. No energy, no fight in the rebound battle. Ernie, you got to pick it up. You got to pick it up starting now, or it's going to be impossible to come back. Like the Pythagorean theorem times 50 times 100 times 50 times 10. Impossible to figure out, Ernie. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Gang and Aldridge are up front. White is out there with Mills, and it's DeRozan in at the small forward. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Lillard attacking, and it's sent back by Aldridge. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, my cousin LaMarcus Aldridge is not the flashiest player, but he is respected. His former teammate in Portland, C.J. McCollum, said he hasn't changed his game to try and fit the new NBA. He shoots mid-range, scores under the basket, strong as heck. He knows who he is. And Kevin, LaMarcus isn't really my cousin, but his game never goes out of style. You're right, D.A., and he is still getting it done. Thank you. Shooting one. And that free throw good from DeRozan. And growing up about 15 miles south of the Staples Center, DeMar DeRozan idolized Kobe Bryant-Clark and patterned his game after him. And you can see evidence of Kobe's game in DeMarcus's game. You think about the footwork, the ability to post up, the moves and counter moves, the balance and strength. I think he owes a lot of that to the Mamba.
And that one misses. And, you know, Carmelo Anthony is a special player, guys. A bulky small forward with a quick trigger release, an elite score. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. He's 0-1 from the line, missing on his first trip. That free throw good from Anthony. That one is no good. Spurs trail by 16. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Fast break, here we go. Kicks it out to Lillard. No good on the triple. And uh, San Antonio shooting reasonably well, 45%. Aldridge dishes to Mills. Here's Gay, and it's San Antonio with another. The high release point of Gay's shot really helps him, I mean... He does a nice job of getting that shot off over good defense. Ariza outside. It's stolen by DeRozan. Pass to Mills. Come to me, come to me. Pass to White. Gay outside. Just five to shoot. Here's DeRozan. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Whiteside's got six rebounds here tonight. This offense's first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. The first free throw is good. The Spurs making a switch here. Zeller's checked in. Both free throws good from Anthony. And here's Mills. 11 points in the game. To the middle. White, good. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. Anthony kicks to McCullough. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Just one for four from the field, not the way they wanted to start the second half. Mills passes to Aldridge from deep, and it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from DeMar DeRozan. McCollum feeling it out a bit, trains it from nine feet away. McCollum's got 18 points. With a much bigger man guarding him, that's not an easy shot to get off, never mind to knock down. Terrific basket. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play going to the line for one. For San Antonio, they have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit eight of ten. One shot. One shot.
You know, Patty Mills is one of a long line of outstanding Australian players who played their college ball in Northern California at St. Mary's College. Whiteside trying to break free. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Well, that might be fair, Greg, but I wouldn't want to take away from what he did in that last game. I mean, let's just say it's a pretty nice run he's on, no matter how you decide to frame it up. Now here's Mills, covered by Lillard, outside DeRozan. Let's a floater go. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for the Trailblazers. It's off to Oklahoma City for him after this game, so they have the Thunder to look forward to. And that's game four of four out on the road for him. Here's Mills. He's got 14. Pass to Zeller. Now here's Mills. That's good again. His seventh basket, seven for ten from the floor. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Here's Lillard. That's down the hatch. Notch one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. I like when Lillard gets a little tricky with it. Outstanding at measuring the floater and dropping it in. Outside DeRozan. And the layup's good off the glass. DeRozan's got eight points in the quarter. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. The feed now to McCollum. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got four assists in the game. Spurs trail by 12. Outside DeRozan. It's Aldridge high post. Good work defensively by Whiteside. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. A reason no luck. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. The pass to Mills. And it's blocked by Whiteside. And Whiteside takes great pride in rejecting shots. Outstanding at getting his arms up and denying shooters. Kept alive, Zeller. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul goes against Portland. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Trailblazers? They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. No good on that one. And some changes here for the Spurs. Lyles check in for Aldridge. Lonnie Walker comes in for Derek White. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Patty Mills. And he's good on the second. Now Lillard. He's got 20. Pass to Nurkic. Here's Trent. He's covered by Zeller. Lillard, right side. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And, you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. And the four-year, $196 million Supermax extension signed by Damian Lillard this offseason. Dame Dalla living up to one of his many nicknames, but money well spent by the Blazers. Jakob Pertles check in for the Spurs. When he was drafted, Damian Lillard said he, he wanted to go to the Blazers with the sixth pick. The, the opportunity to play right away and be embraced by the city of Portland. 
It'll go. The Portland lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Walker. And, you know, he's not usually the guy to break out the crossover. Worked for him that time, but I'm not sure I would be doing that consistently. Lillard way outside. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Lillard's got 10 points in just the second half. And Damian Lillard says, Greg, win or lose, he wants to stay in Portland. He keeps his residence there year-round. And talk about his loyalty. In high school, lightly recruited, he ends up committing to Weber State. His senior year, all the big schools come calling, and Lillard kept his commitment. That shows you how he's built. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. And their lasers are starting to do their thing. I mean, that's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Rejected by Walker, but they get it back. Hood, nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. Hood's got five. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Oh, right here. Pass to Wiles, right wing. Six on the shot clock. Green, come in. And a wide open look for Walker. Off target with his three. Trailblazers leading by 14. Trent passes to Lillard. And here's Anthony from the arc. Good, great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got five assists tonight. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. The outside leaner tried to bank it in, but he misses. And whether he's a great off-balance shooter or not, the, the leaner's probably not the best option on that shot. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Pirtle. Nails the baby hook. pirtle has got his third basket of the night right there. Really amazing body control by Pirtle, just taking the hit head on and finishing through the contact. I love it. Up again, there's Nurkic putting it right back in. And the Trailblazers lead by 17. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. Here's Lyles. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Boy, defense non-existent there, but they catch a break as he whiffs it. San Antonio's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Outside, Walker. Passes it to Pirtle. That one falls. pirtle has got four points in the quarter. There's no stopping Pirtle when he has the ball in that spot. Just abusing the defense down in the paint. Now the pass to Nurkic, Lillard outside. Jacks up a three, hits it from three-point range. Lillard's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Portland. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. The fadeaway, Lyle's no good. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Nurkic, the pass to Trent. Deep two from Anthony, and that one goes long. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Rudy Gay's checked in for San Antonio. Little, he's checked in for Portland. Portland leading by 18. Hood deciding where to go with it. Nurkic kicks to Hood. Little with the ball. He tries for three, buries it from three-point range. Little's got seven points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And, Greg, it's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. 
And the guard, Bryn Forbes, won back-to-back -back state championships as a high schooler in the state of Michigan. A couple years at Cleveland State, then transferred back to the state of Michigan and played at Michigan State. And after that time at Michigan State, he went undrafted, but Kevin really has developed into a steady rotation player in the NBA. And by the way, quite a knockdown shooter. That's good from Forbes. Both good from the line that time. Trailblazers leading by 19. Here's Lillard, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. Um, he's trying to close this one out. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. And one look at the box score will confirm that. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. Oh, that's all you, boy. Can't beg you. San Antonio's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Here is Forbes. He's got five. Here's Lyles, knocks down the 10-footer. Lyles got seven points. Hard to prevent the bigger guy from getting a clean look there. And Lillard gets double teamed. Second chance shot, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. And the free throw, no good. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Here is Forbes. Over Hood. Out of hand on it. They retain possession. That one, no good. And so it's the Portland Trail Blazers cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And let's listen to head coach Terry Stotts review the game plan with his guys. Best week, we got to give a little more pressure to their shots, all right? Make them make the second, third, fourth play. That's Terry Stotts drawing the line defensively. Doesn't want the first guy with the ball to beat him. And that's where a total effort is needed. Get back quickly, match up, call out screens, really the complete package. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the four for Portland, McCollum the two, and Hood the three. Nurkic is out there with Whiteside, and it's Lillard in at the point guard position. Pass to McCollum. Back to Lillard for the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. McCollum's got three assists in the game. Here is Forbes. The shot missing. Nice D from Lillard. Whiteside with it. Gay picks him up defensively. It's stolen by Lyles. 
Here's White. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, just nice strength there and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, Greg, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. Two shots. Relax on the first. And that one falls for White. The 29th pick in 2017 by the Spurs, their injuries last year created an opportunity for Derek White to show Greg what he can do with steady minutes. And White at 6'4", capable of manning either guard spot, a shooter, a playmaker, and an all-defensive team in college. He is definitely a keeper. And both free throws good for White. Well, Clark, at the college level, a coach was recently offered a lifetime contract. Think we'll ever see that in the NBA? <laughs> well, you can't quite say never. Right. I said in college basketball, I never thought in my lifetime I'd see a 16 beat a one seed. Right. So never say never, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> well, but you've got a lifetime contract doing this, so I guess it does happen in some quadrants. Well, you've got information that I don't have. <laughs> And here is Pirtle. Over Whiteside, nice shot by Pirtle. What I really like about Pirtle is the soft hands. He's got excellent hands. You can't teach that. And he's got a nice stroke from mid-range. Lillard, the pass to Nurkic. Chalk up two there. Boy, I'd have to say Lillard is one of the game's best passers right now. Free throw, no good for Nurkic. And Clark, ordinarily quiet by nature, LaMarcus Aldridge has become a more outspoken leader in recent years. Yeah, and that's a good sign. Sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone for the good of the team. Aldridge is, by nature, a laid-back, quiet guy. And sometimes that can work against the team. But in his case, he realized that he needed to be more vocal and stepped into doing that. Clark, the relationship between referees and players reaching a, a fever pitch. What can be done to smooth those waters and mend those fences? Well, I think first and foremost, players have to give. Both sides have to give in this equation, but I think it's incumbent upon the players to accept and respect the position of the officials, and the officials have to also be willing to engage in um, interacting well with the players. It's a two-way street, but I think most of that is on the players because they have to control how they respond to officials more than officials have to respond to the players. And the Spurs making a change here. Zeller's checked in. Rudy Gay hits them both. Yeah, you know, when I covered Gay when he was in college at UConn, he was an outstanding player in the Big East, and it was pretty clear he had a bright future in the NBA in front of him, too. And it's good for two. And that's 11 points for Ariza. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Two, two. Free throw good, Mills. 
Clark, we've had sponsors on the uniforms for a couple of seasons now. Do you think everyone's grown used to seeing them? Yeah, I think it's a normal part of the landscape, and it will take a little more time. I've noticed them myself as I've watched games. Um, we're certainly a far cry from looking like NASCAR drivers, which I think is a good thing. You want them to be done visibly, but not overdone. Trailblazers leading by 20. McCollum outside. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. A natural score. Give McCollum any room to get his shot off, and he's going to let it fly. Pass to Zeller. He kicks it to White. He feeds it to Aldridge. Over White side. The jump hook, count that bucket. That's 12 points for LaMarcus Aldridge. You know, sometimes there's just nothing you can do to bother Aldridge. A fantastic score, and he stays locked in, too. That's a two from Lillard. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. McCollum's got five assists in the game. The Spurs have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Gay outside. And it's Portland with the rebound. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. San Antonio calls timeout. Clark, do you think it helps the pace of the game with the NBA recently modifying the shot clock rule that after an offensive rebound, it doesn't go back to 24. It goes now to the new number, 14 seconds. Well, I really like the rule because you don't have to bring the ball over the half court line, which is eight seconds. So it makes sense. And it does speed up the game, in my opinion. DeMar DeRozan. He's checked in for Tyler Zeller. Mills finds Aldridge, and that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. San Antonio with the ball. It's Gay on the wing. Ariza covering. Down to five on the shot clock. Aldridge trying to break free. Good D by Ariza. Portland's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And Lillard kicks to Ariza. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. San Antonio making a switch here. Lyles checked in. And the first one at the line is good. Clark, do you think we in the media overemphasize championship rings when talking about an individual player's legacy? Yeah, I think when you talk about an individual player's legacy, a player can be a champion without a championship ring. I know there's another level of champion which includes a championship ring, and sometimes it gets distorted in my estimation because an individual only has so much impact on a team being a championship team. There are no individual team champions. Teams win championships. Being a key player or a role player on the championship team is certainly worthy of recognition and being held in high esteem. But I don't like to see championship caliber players being diminished in the court of public opinion because they didn't win a team championship ring like Stockton and Malone. Exactly. You could go down the list a number of guys who just weren't, for whatever reason, able to get the ultimate in a team championship, but had championship Hall of Fame careers. Passes it to Swanigan. 
And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And that one misses. Fans are always trying to distract opposing players during free throws. Have you ever seen that work in, a, in, a, in an arena? No, I think it's just a nice workout for the fans, Kevin, quite <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I mean, if a guy misses, it's not because the fans have gone crazy behind the basket. It's because he shot it left or right or short or long. It's not because of the fans being on top of him, at least in my opinion. Right. And he can't make the second free throw either, missing both. Now, here's Mills. Outside, White. Here's Lyles in the dunk by Lyles. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. Lillard, the pass to Swanigan. McCollum outside. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. And Lillard gets double teamed. Here's Anthony. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. 14 points for Carmelo Anthony. Wow. Has he flipped the switch at halftime? Much more effective here in the second half. Mills passes to White. Now Wiles. Here's Pirtle. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86% sensational ball movement there when you pass the ball like that good things happen Ariza outside there's the lob to Lillard trying to go for an alley-oop but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it here's white and again it's the Spurs from deep and that field goal percentage climbing now above 50 percent they look like a different team here in the second half McCollum kicks to Swanigan Back to McCollum, lets the three fly. Rebound San Antonio. DeRozan's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Feeds to Mills, and stolen by Lillard. Here's Ariza, and no good. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. After this one, they take on the Clippers at the Staples Center. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Pirtle inside. Carmelo Anthony grabs the board. Anthony's got six rebounds in the game. Cranes the three-pointer. Lillard's got 40 points. And certainly, they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. And, Greg, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good shots, take them. And as long as they're falling, continue to take them. Portland leading by 20. McCollum dishes to Carmelo. That falls. Ice feed that time from McCollum. McCollum's got six assists now in the game. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Spurs. Floats one. Lyles. Back to Mills. Clark, should the NBA consider widening the court to even out the value of those corner threes? You know, that wouldn't be a bad idea, Kevin. But I also like the fact that there's a deep three at the top and on the wing, and then you've got a little shorter three if you can get to that corner, widening the lane to make that three more in line or symmetrical with the um, deep three at the top. I kind of like having a um, short corner three. I agree with you. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Damian Lillard. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players.
to the paint. Now the feed to McCollum. Well, time passed, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. McCollum's got 10 points here in the second half. Mills passes to Aldridge. Over Anthony. Aldridge misses. Trailblazers leading by 22. Down low. It's stolen by DeRozan. Here's Mills. It's tipped. And the reason works his butt off on defense. I mean, whether he's down low or on the perimeter, he knows how to block shots. McCollum kicks to Lillard. To the inside. And Whiteside slams it home. Oh, he's putting on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Well, when you know it, you got to show it. Here's DeRozan. A second chance effort. And Whiteside sends it back. And he recovers it. Now here's Lillard. He's guarded closely. Anthony against DeRozan. Whiteside tried to break free. They get it again. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Jakob Pertl. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Free throw, good white side. Clark, when you think of athleticism specifically, talk about the changes athletically we've seen in the league, say, since the 80s. It's dramatically different. I mean, there have been tremendous athletes through every decade of the league's existence, but it's gotten better with improved training and more knowledge about the anatomy of the body and how to enhance its performance. But now it seems like great athletes are, you know, a dime a dozen versus eight to a dozen back in the 80s. San Antonio's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight, seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. Aldridge finds White. Outside DeRozan. Looking to get back on track here. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. They get Hassan Whiteside. You know, DeRozan is deceptive in his height and quickness, so I think it makes him hard to guard, especially from this area. You know, in the loaded West, DeMar DeRozan, not an all-star last season after being one multiple times in the East, his first time missing the festivities in four seasons. Two, two. The first one falls. You talk about that edge, Clark, for DeRozan, very focused on proving his doubters wrong. Nothing wrong with playing with something to prove, with that kind of attitude and mindset, turning that negative into a positive. And most importantly, it can't just be a mindset. You have to put the work into it as well. And he's done that, gotten better each year. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Clark, a lot of fans ask us what qualifies as a legal screen versus a moving screen. And they feel there's a lot of gray area there. What do you think? Well, I think there is some gray area because the problem you have, one of the problems is a number of veterans out there have become really masters at getting a little extra into their screen, which borders on illegal and many times is. So the league is doing a pretty good job of clarifying. And if you're moving your lower or upper body to help a teammate, with your screen, then that should be called. And most times, it is called as illegal. A hip check, a shoulder, any of that to set a screen is illegal. A nice shot by Simons. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Portland. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. And every win important, and this one will go down as win number three. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight.
Greg, I don't think it'll play out quite that simply, though. The team coming out on the losing end of game one is just that much more motivated to get even in game two and three. So I think the edge goes to the losing team. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Lillard. You have to focus on the steals he came up with. They were huge factors in the end result. To the middle. Wide side, the pass to Simons. Shot clock at six. Ice D from DeRozan. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. And they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.